Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm gonna here. I'm here, and I'm gonna go through the majority of the items that I am using for the February fabric junk journal challenge. Now remember, the list is huge. You don't have to use everything. Some of the things I haven't even picked all of my items yet, um, or I've put things in there thinking that I may take them out. And um, so anyway, so let's start with tools. And I get two pair of straight scissors. So um, my fabric scissors, don't you dare cut anything except fabric with those. And my regular paper cutting crafting scissors. I'm adding in my pinking shears and my um, cutter. So those are your four, are my four cutting tools that I will be using. Okay, I will be using my sew machine and two threads. And um, so I'll be using a red thread. Here's the bobbin. Um, that's that color. I will probably use the white bobbin and the red thread. I haven't decided for sure, but once I decide, once I put it in there, that's what I will use. If you're not using a sewing machine, you can still use two threads and do, you know, fussy thread um, for ephemera. And I mean, you can use as much of your two colors of threads as you want to. It's regular thread, not embroidery thread. Okay. Um, five stamps. I have chosen this red, red, this rose, this, um, heart doily. This is from dots, which was what before it was close to my heart. And then this little heart, um, pattern and this rose also from dots. <laughs> yeah. From 1991. And then I think I'm going to use this. It's a tag with roses. It says Paris. It has a number up here and it has roses. And I just, I think I'm going to use that. So that's my number five. With your stamps, you can use any distressing tools or um, stamp pads. So I have out, I'll probably use the cosmetic sponge and my, my round ones. I'll probably use my black stamp pad and then possibly a gold stamp pad and my light pink. I didn't dig those out yet, but um, yeah. So you get to use five pens. I've picked out three so far. Probably will use um, this one to, for fine lines and this one and this one. And I need to get over in my cab cupboard over there. The kitty was in the way. So, um, so five pens um for washi tape we're upping it to five i don't know why you know everything else is five pretty much but so these are my five washi tapes so just know that if you've only picked four you can add a fifth and um this one is glitter tape and i have a gold and i have a black that has kind of a craft color behind it some pink roses and this one that's kind of watercolor stripe um Next is five flowers, erasers, buttons, or beads. I've already used a flower on my cover. So I have another one of the flower that's on my cover. I have this, and I have this eraser. And um, I, I'm going to get another one of these heart beads out. Okay, this one is already on a paper clip. So, um, so that's probably my five there. Um, Let's see, five pins, eyelets, six inch wire, paper clips, clothes pin. So I have these two pink flowered eyelets, some wire, a pen, and um, I guess we can put this paper clip in there. <laughs> okay, so then cover pieces, book box, craft board, etc. I haven't decided for sure. Um, I made a fabric cover and it fits on an actual book, 
but I haven't, I think I just want to do one signature because I have a purpose that I want to use this book for and I don't need it to be huge. Um, but then again, the, the hard cover would make it more, you know, more substantial. So I'm still thinking on that. Okay, so ruler, I chose this blue one because it's right here. Um, stapler and staples, I'll be using my tiny attacher once I find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> um, any glue, glitter glue. So I'm probably, I will be using my Tombow. I might use the glossy accents. I have some red glitter glue and I have some gold glitter glue. So you can use any glues and so, and probably fabric tack too, because I'm working with fabric. Um, any tape, I have out my packing tape, my little uh, high heel is over here that my dad got me that's got the scotch tape. Um, so I'm, I'm set for tape. I probably won't be using gesso and the brush and the tool. Um, I did take out my envelope punch board. We added that. Uh, my one hole punch will be my crocodile. So I can also use the eyelet setting tool. So I will be using my crocodile. And I have not for sure chosen my other punch, but it will probably be a flower. I'm thinking that, um, you know, it's, it's about time that the fluffy flowers come back so that's probably what I will use so watch for that for the return of the fluffy flowers and let's see Mod Podge I might use it four stencils these are the four stencils I've chosen I have um, this one it has alphabet but it, I love this this is from the Tim Holtz collection this was one that I've had for years, and you've seen me use it. I love this one. So um, I will probably use that one. And then I have two with words. This one came from Michael's, and they still carry it. I love that one. I use it in my prayer journals. And then this one was a Heidi Swap one that I got um, several, well, the year that my word was blessing is when I bought it because it had the word blessing in it. So those are my four stencils. Um, and then four sprays. I have my Heidi Swap Color Shine Gold. I have my new Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Um, I don't know where they put the color names on the, Gilded Gold, ha, finally found it. Okay, so Gilded Gold, I love this. It's just really, really fine. Where this one's more um, opaque. And um, then this one is Wedding Pink. How perfect. And this one is Aquamarine. And again, it just does a beautiful, fine um, color on it. Okay, we, did, we chose not to use that stamp. Okay, so the one other thing in tools is my binding kit and I keep my binding kit in this little blue box. I'm just going to be probably using this um, string, just the white. I have in here, I have a couple of the different, this one's from the back of contact paper, <laughs> but these are my templates. I have a pair of scissors in here, and then I will be using these four clips to um, to uh, do my binding. So these four clips, and right now my needles are in the other room because I was using them yesterday. I shouldn't have taken them out. They're not supposed to be taken actually taken out of here. But, you know, <laughs> so the binding kit. So those are the tools that I will be using. And now we'll just keep adding to this table. And I will move on to the next page, which is papers. And so I have chosen 
so far it's just one signature so we will see I might end up doing two but I have one of these are coffee dyed just regular coffee paper I coffee dyed them this is it's gonna be um, the journal is a love story journal so I've got hearts um, that I did on a heart pan so um, and then this is on embossed on a charger plate so I have those two and then I have this lace one okay so that gives me my five copy papers all the same kind of paper but you can do your direct you can do your um, you know your variety of coffee dyeing so that's where you can get your variety okay next is assorted papers and um, what I chose for this is I chose a baseball card holder some ledger paper um, I'll probably grab the larger piece of this but it was sitting right there in the Christmas stuff because it's 12 by 12 but I'm going to use the um, chevron uh, vellum and some noisy paper because I love to put the noisy paper and then this is tissue paper that I got from my uh, $1.49 cent store and I think this is going to be great. So if you have wrapping paper, that could go. You could have wrapping paper in this part of your um, your chosen papers. This is where you would put your wrapping paper. Okay. So next is book pages. And I have this little book that I picked up at the, at the Goodwill. And it has writings and images all through it and I picked two pages from it that I liked for um, for my for what I want to make so I think this is going to be the center of my signature and um, so that I have that and then I have a dictionary from the 1940s or 50s and I, this is the page with love and all the different love bird, love charm, love child, and then of course love, lovable. And um, so that's the dictionary page that I chose. And I will probably go ahead and um, cut my, punch my flowers out of the other parts of this page. Um, then different, I chose this is a um let's see if it's got the name on it well it is a wrought iron accessories fences balconies railings um finials all those different kinds of things it is a book that is about that and for that so i chose to pull that out and I can use both sides and it's coffee dyed oops sorry and then I have this gigantic rose cat from the calendar and I'm trying to use this calendar up so I pulled that out and so I was pretty excited to find that next I have my lightweight um, scrapbook paper and digital so I have this beautiful piece of stationery that I just received in the happy mail from Joyce so I'm going to use that this is from I think this is from the Laura's Roses kit in Dear Julie Julie this is one of the pages and so I thought I would probably use that this striped paper this paper here and then I have this one and what I like to do with this is I've I'm, I'm gonna try coffee dyeing it I have like 50 of these papers and so I'm gonna try coffee dyeing it today and see how it turns out and um, I like to punch these or cut them out use them as tags and things but the the rose matches um, my theme 
So next we have uh, just plain scrapbook paper. And so I have these pink. And then I have this booklet that is a paper pad. It's Valentine's papers from last year. And I, I'm not going to take them out yet because I don't want to disrupt this. But I, but I will probably use like this and like one of these and one of those other ones. It'll still give me, and I might even use that. Um, so anyway, so that's my plain scrapbook paper. And then next is my cardstock. So um, my inspiration for this journal is this piece of paper right here that came out of that adorable um, paper pad, the Prima paper pad that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love it. So this is my inspiration and what I went around looking for things to go with. And then I found this paper, and I think this was from Ying Ya. Um, and I'm excited to finally get to use it, and I just think it's going to be striking, amazing in this in this journal. Um, next, I have this is from Lindsay Zanor's Tickled Pink, and I went to coffee dye this. And just kind of spread it on and this paper and my ink my my printer didn't get along a lot of times I can do that I guess it just depends on the paper that I've chosen but the colors of this and I've saved this even though I messed it up the colors are perfect for what I'm working with here I mean look at how well this matches this so, um, and I'm excited to have that hot air balloon in here too. So, and I might not use the bird <laughs> and, uh, I might not use her because they really don't go with the theme this time, but, but I'll be able to use them on something else and I'm perfectly fine with that. So, um, I love that. Absolutely love that. I might, I, yeah, I need to pull that out because that is I think that's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, you might see that come back someday. <laughs> okay, so um, next I have the, this is one of the pages from Roses Roses. It's a Dear Julie kit, or Dear Julie Julie. And I have printed it just on white cardstock. So this is cardstock paper, um, digital, uh, regular, or cardstock. And I will be able to use these throughout the journal. Now, I could have just cut out a couple of the postcards and had that in as postcards. But um, I, I wanted more ephemera. I like my journals to have more places to write and put things. So, um, so I have that page. And then I have it, the... Um, Roses Roses kit. So this is the four of the, the five pages of the Roses Roses kit printed at um, three and a half by five. So so he, um, so that's the five pages right there, isn't it? Nope, there's doubled up. So one of the pages isn't isn't being shown here. But anyway, I'm gonna be able to use that. I may go ahead and print this on white because I really like this coloring better with this so better than that this turned out more red and you can see that there's there is some pink in this and some orangey pink so um so I'll probably reprint this but those are my cardstock so yes you can use digital cardstock as your cardstock pages Okay. Um, next I have on the list, so after cardstock, plain cardstock, printed cardstock, assorted cards. So I am going to use this F for Fisher. This card, it has 700. We were married on 7, 10, 10. 
So I'm going <clears> to <throat> um, change that to 71010, but I was kind of excited that, that I found this uh, flashcard. And then I have a guest check that was dye, coffee dyed on the heart pan. I have a striped greeting card and this beautiful greeting card. I think they'll, you know, they'll go along very well with this, the other things we have going on here. Next for envelopes, I have this pink church envelope. I had this little tiny envelope. The only one I had was has written on it but I you know might as well use it right and then I have this glassine bag and I have these two envelopes so they're already aged and I think they'll be really fun I have four postcard backs as uh, my postcard part that you can have five and I probably will um use some other postcards in place of those but these are holding the place so um but they're it's really fun to decorate and none of these have stamps on them that's the other thing i love it when they have the old stamp and the postage so i have a playing card this is for the cart the flinch cards playing cards game cards i'm going to replace this with the eight of hearts um i have I take all of the eight of hearts out of my playing cards that I use and save them for myself. That is my favorite, the eight of hearts. And eight is our, it's our number. It was something that was established on our very first date. So, so I have it in here holding its place, but it will replace, be replaced with the eight of hearts. Um, and then I have this page and it's the flinch cards printed at three and a half by five. You can use... Um, five, you can have five cards and um, get five cards total. So I probably will cut out the ones here that are going to pertain to what I want to do with this. And um, this I accidentally printed. I thought it was cardstock. And it is, I don't know if you can see the line there, but it is a uh, disc sticker paper. So I want to use this because it's going to be in my own book. And um, I'll, that'll give me a chance to use it up. So next, make sure we're still filming. Yay, we are. Um, is doilies. So I have my little tiny gold doily. That's from the baking department at Michael's. I have two red um, heart doilies. I might replace one of those. Uh, I, you know, any of this could be replaced. Oh, I should only have one. Because um, I forgot I have this other. So there's this one that's red, this gold one, and then this one that can be a page. And it's a little bit messed up, and so that's why I'm using it for my own. Um, I was really excited. I know you, you probably know that I have kept stamps, but I also inherited, sort of, um, I was given, gifted, uh, a bunch of stamps. So I have a bunch of love stamps. So you can use five postage stamps. And so I have these. I'm so excited. I have these five. Look at this one. And that's one I've gotten because it's a forever stamp. It wasn't from that collection. Um, but I have those five stamps to use. The next section was five Project Life cards or ATC cards. ATC cards are cards that are... Um, what are they? Three by four, I believe. Something like that. So, um, but I had Project Life cards. So I have this one that says, Oh, Happy Day. And it, it matched. And I Love Us. And this one with the hearts on it. And this one that said, Oh, one, two, three. Yeah, this one that said, Be Mine. And this one that said Happy Valentine's Day. And it's Sweetheart on the other side. And this one, keep me posted. <laughs> um, so there's that. So that I'm using five um, Project Life cards. I have my five tickets and they are all coffee dyed. <clears throat> and they are going to match amazing. Then for my tags, <clears throat> I took this tag from my stash and it's actually a file folder and 
I took it so that I would have it to be able to um, copy it, basically. And then I have these four that I just cut out of the, um, the paper pad. So I would have some of those pretty things to go with it. Next we have die cuts. And I had cut from my Cricut machine. I had this pocket. And I have this heart. You've seen me. I keep bringing this heart out. It still hasn't gotten used. So maybe it'll finally get used. Then I had these hearts. And um, I just liked them because they have the roses that are sparkly. And so maybe we'll finally get to use those. And I still have room to bring out something else. Like I only found four, four die cuts so far. Next we have stickers and this is a gigantic sticker literally what it is is it is the inside of an envelope like you and remember the other day when I got this at Hobby Lobby and their clearance um I got 24 of them for 74 cents or something like that anyway um I'll be able to cut it whatever and so that's possibly one of my stickers and then my other stickers I don't know you get to use five and so I pulled these out and I will keep track and I will only use five so um, there we go and then from the junk I have this with the pretty pearls from recollections and then this was a calendar that I bought that was like in the dollar fifty section at Michael's. It's from last year and from 2017. I have one from 2017 and one from 2018, I guess. And um or part of it was 2017 and part was anyway, I can pick five items from out of here. So I am um, going to put keep this with it so that I know which which one you know so I can pick out which ones I want to use so then last but not least um, and then I still can use packaging material five packaging material materials and um, five assorted junk mail items and five assorted other junk so this is one of my other junk and this might be my packaging. I don't know. So then the last thing is the material. So I have gone through and picked out um, pieces of material. Most of this is from the, the little uh, gift pack that I got from uh, Kara Brandon. But a couple of them was were, were my own. So... I'll put this is the pile that all came from her. I don't know if I'll use the peach. This was an old nightgown. <laughs> There's that. Um, this was from that garage sale haul that I got last summer for 20 bucks. <laughs> I got all that stuff. Um, so yeah so there's the fabric and then I'll give you a really quick look of what I made for my cover during the Super Bowl yesterday so there will be a separate video on that as I try and figure out how I'm going to attach it and make it a cover so anyway these are the items that I have chosen so far um, in my to use in my fabric February fabric junk journal challenge so if you have questions put them down below we do have a Facebook group it is open and um, it's closed but I'll let you in if you answer questions or just go there and it is the February February fabric junk journal challenge it is on Facebook and um, I will put the link down below. So 
all of the information on the guidelines for this challenge are in the pinned post in the Facebook group. Um, the challenge goes through February 28th. That is the deadline. You need to be finished and have your journal posted, um, your videos or pictures posted. Please follow the directions in the, in the group. So, yeah. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Wish me luck. Have a great day. Bye.